Here's one more example of an optimization problem. What is the distance from the curve y equals x squared to the point 18 comma 0? Let's start with the first step. Draw a picture of the problem statement and label it with variables. So let's see. We've got the curve y equals x squared, which looks like this. And we want the distance from that curve to the point, 18 comma 0. So let's extend this. Here's the point, 18 comma 0, out 18 units on the x-axis and on the x-axis. We want the distance from the curve to the point. Now by the distance we mean something like this. That distance where that's a right angle. Imagine that this thing in this parabola was, let's say, the side of a building and you were standing here and the building was shaped like a parabola and you had to run and touch the wall of the building. If you imagine the building coming out like this. You would probably run like this. The closest way to get to the wall of this building would not be to run here or here. It would be to run straight towards it and meet it about there at a right angle. So that's what we mean by minimize the distance to the curve. Or what is the distance? We mean the minimum, the shortest path from the point till it touches the curve. And we want to know what is that distance. So we've now drawn this picture, but we haven't yet labeled it with variables. So let's label this, let's call, let's call the distance S. I don't want to call it D because we use D for derivative. Let's call it S. Okay. Um, we don't really have enough variables here, do we? Because this point is going to become important, figuring out what point we're actually running to. So let's call the point X comma Y. So that this distance here is going to be x, and this distance here is going to be y. Actually, no. This distance is x. This is not x. What am I talking about? I'm crazy. Okay. This distance is x, and that's y, so the point would be x comma y. Let's keep labeling the picture. If this distance isn't x, like I originally said, what is it? Well, if this is 18, and this is x, then this has to be the amount left over, which is 18 minus x. So now think about this, right? x plus 18 minus x has to total 18 units. So there we go. That's what this length is. Now, let's see. Um, let's go to the second step. Decide what you wish to optimize and write an equation in terms of the variables. Well, we wish to optimize the distance. So what do we know about this distance? Well, this distance is the hypotenuse of this right triangle that has 18 minus x here and y here. So we know that um, 18 minus x squared plus y squared equals the distance squared. Now, um, we have a couple of problems here. The first one is that we, to find the distance, we'd have to take the square root. But a nice trick you can think about is that the minimum s would also come at the point where s squared is the minimum. Because squaring a number is an increasing function. So when s is smallest, s squared is smallest. When s is biggest, s squared is biggest. So what we're going to do is we're going to minimize s squared instead of s. You could probably minimize s directly, but it would be a headache because you'd have a square root in the equation and it wouldn't be very nice. So we're just going to minimize the square distance and then take the square root at the very end instead of doing it now. So we have s squared equals 18 minus x squared plus y squared. Okay. 
Step three, if there's more than one variable, eliminate all but one of them. Now, here again, there's more than one variable. There's an x and a y. But I think we can eliminate y pretty easily because this y is the height of the function at the x value x. We know that y equals x squared. So we really have this. y is x squared, the height. It's x squared squared. Instead of y squared, it's x squared squared because y is x squared. So here we are eliminating the uh, extra variable y. Let's actually multiply this out. 18 minus x squared. Note that you can't do 18 squared minus x squared and have that be the answer. You have to actually write 18 minus x times 18 minus x and then multiply it out. Don't forget about the x squared squared, which is x to the fourth. So let's see. Um, 18 minus x times 18 minus x. Distribute it twice. 18 times 18 is, I believe, 324. Let's see, what does my calculator say? Yes, 324. We have minus 18 times negative x is minus 18x. And the inside, we have minus x times 18, which is also minus 18x. So we have minus 18x minus 18x is minus 36x. And then we have minus x times minus x is plus x squared. So there we go. Okay, now we have our variable, our squared distance. Next step, step four, draw a graph of the function you wish to optimize. So we're going to graph this thing. Let's see. See what this looks like. 324 minus 36x plus x squared plus x to the fourth. Now, x, if you think about it, wouldn't make sense if it was less than zero, because we know this point isn't going to be less than zero. That's not a close distance. And just to take a guess, it's probably not going to be more than about uh, six or seven, or else it would start to get too high up here. If this was about six or seven, it would be way up here, which is not a close, a good way to get from the point to the curve. So x is probably between zero and let's say six. And the y values, let's see, the squared distance, I don't have any idea here. Let's say 200. See if that's a good guess. And apparently it's not a good guess. Let's see. What would be a better guess? 300? There's a little peak of a, a, a curve. I think we need to go higher. Let's say 500. There we go. Okay. It looks like our graph looks like this. If I actually go a little bit higher than that, let's say 800, we can really see what the graph does. There we go. Okay, so let's draw this. 800, and this is the distance squared. S squared. And here, from 0 to 6, and it looks something like this. And we want to find that point where the tangent line is horizontal. All right, let's do it. Um, we got to take the first derivative of the function, set it equal to zero, and solve. First derivative of this function is, so the derivative of distance squared with respect to x, this one's a pretty easy one to do, isn't it? 324 disappears, and it becomes negative 36 plus 2x plus 4x cubed when you do the derivative. We want to set it equal to 0 and solve it. I'm just rearranging the terms here. We got 0 equals 4x cubed plus 2x minus 36. Okay. 
First thing we can do here, I guess, is divide both sides by 2, just to make the numbers a little smaller. So 0 divided by 2 is 0. 4 divided by 2 is 2x cubed. 2 divided by 2 would be 1x, and minus 36 divided by 2 would be minus 18. So now we're still stuck with this thing. And whether you graph it or just take a good guess, um, it will suggest that the way to factor this, if you play with it for a while, it will, will also come out, is something like that. And if you didn't see that, um, like I said, you can graph it to give yourself a suggestion. I don't know if you know this trick, but if you are trying to factor something and you've and you're sure that there's some answer, but you just can't get it, try graphing it. So I'm typing in 2x cubed plus x minus 18 and putting it in a normal window. And where it crosses the x-axis, see there it's crossing at 2, at x equals 2. Uh, that's usually a good guess as to the factor you're going to have. So x equals 2 has to give a root. So there has to be a factor of x minus 2. So when x is 2, this is 0, and that's why it crosses the x-axis there. So it can give at least one of the factors, and then you can figure out the other one. So however you figure it out, this thing factors like that. And then you have to solve it. So you get the first term is 0, or the second term is 0. This term would give x equals 2. This, this uh, equation actually has no real solutions. Um, you could see that if you graphed it, and you would see that um, it does not ever touch the x-axis. This function is never 0. It's always above the x-axis if you graphed it. So there are no solutions. Or you could use quadratic formula to find both the complex solutions. So the only possibility is x equals 2. So it looks like that point right there is above x equals 2. So um, let's see. That wasn't the question, though. Remember, um, the last part of this, and it seems kind of silly, but answer the question. I mean, you have to answer the question you're asked. And we didn't care about the x. We want to know what is the distance. Now, the distance we had up here, right there, we had distance as a function of x. So we could actually um, now use this to figure it out. So we have s squared is 324 minus 36 x, now x is 2, plus x squared plus x to the fourth. So if I type this onto the calculator, we've got 324 minus 72 plus 4 plus 16. So that would be like 324 minus 52, which is 272, I believe. And so s squared is 272, and remember the distance was s. We were minimizing the distance squared to make the numbers easier. But now to get the s, we can take the square root finally. So we delayed for so long. s equals the square root of 272, which is, according to my calculator, 16.49 approximately. So that's the, the distance, or the minimum distance, from the point to the curve. Another example of an optimization problem.